Election day is now just a few weeks away. And there is more than just the race for Houston's next mayor on the ballot. Lena DeFlorius is here with more of the statewide propositions you'll be voting for or against. Hey, Lena. Well, hello. Yes, so we have one week until early voting starts, and there are 14 propositions for amendments to the Texas Constitution. So I'm going to break them down for you one by one so you can get in and get out when you head over to the ballot box. So we'll start with Proposition 1. This one started with a conversation about rules that have been implemented in urban areas, possibly affecting agriculture and farming in rural areas. So this is the proposition text word for word. What it means, basically, it is meant to protect what's generally accepted as agricultural practices that have been defined by Texas A&M. It raises the bar for regulation, and local governments would have to prove that any new regulation is necessary and needed to protect water, land, people. So basically, you would vote for if you're thinking, yeah, I want to keep cities and counties from over-regulating when it comes to agriculture. You'll vote against if you're more of the mind of, well, I want government regulation of ranching and farming to make it easier to protect people and land and water. I want farmers to be accountable to the local community. Now, Proposition 2 has to deal with property taxes and child care centers. This is the text. It started with a conversation about money from the feds during pandemic relief that expired last month. So here's what it means. It would basically allow cities and counties to waive or cut property taxes in half, at least, for child care centers. So any facility that serves as a working daycare center would be eligible for at least a 50% reduction in property taxes. Uh, I did look around for you the expiration of that money with Century Foundation. They did some analysis. It would lead to the possibility of 4,000 daycare centers here in Texas closing. That would leave more than 300,000 kids without an affordable health care or um, daycare option. So vote for if you're thinking, yeah, I want affordable child care options for our working parents, even if it means that tax revenue has to be made up in some other way. You'll vote against if you're more of the mind, mm, I'm worried that that tax cut will only benefit the uh, child care owners not really flow down to their employees. It may not make it into a savings for the working parents. And I'm also concerned that the tax cut will have to be paid by taxing other businesses to make up that revenue. So that is one and two. Again, there are 14. We'll be breaking them down for you all week long as we get ready for the first day of early voting. Again, that is on Monday. And I'll have them all posted for you online at fox26houston.com. Ladies.